Hi, this is Miss Jenny from the Union Township Branch Library. I just wanted to talk to you today about sending a smile through the mail. How many times have we gone to the mailbox and all we've gotten are bills or catalogs, nothing that makes us smile? Well, during this time, I wanna show you how you can send a smile to one of your friends. Just send a piece of mail that you've created. Send something that just says, I'm thinking about you. And today we're gonna to be using supplies that you most likely already have in your house. Things like paper and markers and scissors and possibly even washi tape. That's about as techy or crafty as I'm gonna to get today. So get ready, get your paper and get your markers and let's get ready to craft. So to send our smile in the mail, we're just gonna make a card. This first card, I'm just going to start with a normal piece of computer paper. It's nice, it's thin, so you probably want to fold it. I folded mine the first time, folded it in half, I turned it over one more time, lined up the edges, and folded it again. I have now created an invitation size card. Now with this card, it is kind of still a little flippy and floppy, but at the same token, it's got a double layer for both the front the middle and the back, so you have a chance for the pictures not to kind of bleed through your paper. Now with that, we're gonna just do a pretty smiley face. You can't get much simpler than drawing a big circle and giving it some personality. So I'm gonna get a yellow marker and a black marker. Make a big circle. And remember, you've handmade this. It does not have to be perfect. If anything, you're just sending your personality through the mail. I've made a nice big circle. I'm gonna use my black marker to give some eyes. Now I'm cheating off my daughter. She made a picture for me earlier today. And I've just made a nice smile. With that, I'm literally gonna just write smile at the base of my picture. And my card is done. From here, you can write your sentiments on the inside, but always remember, sign your work. I like to use just my initials and the year that I made it. Gives me a chance to know when I made it and created this. So today, we have our smile picture all ready for you to mail. So in this card, all I did was use a piece of computer paper, which is nice and thin, and almost every one of you have somewhere in your house. Now I am a crafter, and with that, I have some paper that's a little bit thicker. I have some cardstock at home. But again, I'm just gonna use a piece of white paper. I also have a nifty cutting tool that just makes it so it's a little bit easier to have straight lines. And all I'm gonna do is literally cut my paper in half. I line it up to the five and a half, because it's an 11 inch piece of paper, and I've cut it in half. Take my cutting paper on the way. And with this one, again, all I'm gonna do is push one piece to the side, fold it, and I've created a card. Again, I could do the smiley faces, like my daughter did here for me and write your message at the bottom. The other thing that we can, you can do though, which is quick and easy, is use washi tape. Washi tape is that stuff that you look at at the store and you're like, what's that? What's it for? Sometimes you'll see it in the planning areas for your planners or your calendars so that you can put different things on it. And so sometimes it has words on it, like this one has every piece of tape has a little bit of words. Sometimes they're thematic. This is a mermaid theme one. Sometimes it'll just be color ranging. This one's got some cacti and some flamingos, and some have words and some don't. So you can buy your washi tape like that, or you can just buy it in single rolls at the store. And if you're like me, you will probably end up collecting just a few rolls. But today we're gonna use the Mermaid Collection. And with the Mermaid Collection, I just liked the colors. I thought they were great fun. So we're gonna use this blue and this green tail. And I think
think we're going to do this nice purple in between. A lot of times when you're creating things, you want to use odd numbers. So I tend to like to do threes. It gives a nice line on my paper. So with that, we're going to use these three rolls. The nice thing about washi tape is that it's somewhat translucent. And you can put it straight on your paper. And if you don't like how it turned out, you can peel it back off. It's repositionable. So you do want to make sure that you kind of burnish it down a little bit. And I just line it up with the edge of my paper. And I look to see how straight my line is. And I think that's pretty good today. So as you see, I have a little bit going off of each edge. I'm going to do a purple line. I like to vary my widths and the number, but it's up to you and what you like and what you enjoy. I'll do a purple line right there. And then I'm going to end it with one more green at the top. I've been making cards for a very long time and I love how quick and easy I can make a card with washi tape. I've added lots of color, lots of spring, and it didn't take long at all. Now mind you, you can't really send this, can you? You got these extra edges. There are just a couple ways you can deal with it. You can fold it over if you really want, or I don't really like that look, so I am going to just trim the paper. You use your scissors, cut it from the back, and you go just along the line of your paper, and it's neat and tidy. Again, line it up on the other side, Use your paper as your guide, and you made a neat and tidy card. Now, I like to put a little bit of sentiment. If it was somebody's birthday, I might say happy birthday, but today we're just thinking of them. So I'm going to just write thinking of you along the top, and I've created a card. Again, remember, sign your work, because you've created it. It's a masterpiece just for that reason. And now you have a card. So we've made two today, one out of cardstock and one out of just plain paper. Another one that my daughter made earlier today. Again, it's the example of the washi tape at the base. She's drawn a picture and a thinking of you. And she too signed her work. Washi tape is also one of those things that it comes in varied sizes. So this is just one piece of washi tape and it's just very long, very wide. It's great fun to add lots of things. And maybe instead of using black, you could use red marker to say thinking of you or happy birthday or smile. All of these things work. A couple other examples that include washi tape. I have my washi tape here a piece of scrap paper, and then my sentiment is stamped in another space. Also, you don't just have to use white. Maybe you have craft cardstock at home. This washi paper has the nice gold to it and kind of leans in with the colors. You can also use stamping to make cards. And I have one here. My sister just had a baby today, so with this, she might receive it today saying, let the cute begin. Again, it's just different kinds of paper. The image is stamped and colored in, and I used a little bit of glitter in there to give some bling. Once you're ready to send your card, as I said earlier, these are invitation size cards. So you can use invitation size envelopes. You can buy them at the store, or if you buy your paper in a kit, a lot of kits will come with your envelopes. But remember, not everybody knows how to address an envelope. So if you're having your kids create this so that they can send a smile through the mail, maybe to an aunt or uncle 
or just their friend down the street, or even grandma. Make sure that they can address the card correctly. You're gonna have your name, the street address, the city, the state, and the zip code where they're sending it to. And then they're gonna put their address up here in this top corner for their return address. And again, you have your stamp over here and you're ready to go to mail it, your smile in the mail. Thank you so much and you have a great day. Bye.